Hi guys, I'm back with another video. So before we get started, I want to give you guys a little bit more of a hair tutorial. So this video is sponsored by Hairs Market and they sent me some cute hair, but I did want to show you their packaging. So they definitely sent me this cute little comp card. It shows you all the bundles, all the textures that they offer, all the wig units, and they also sent me a sweet little note, which I felt was really professional and I definitely appreciated them having a personalized note to me. So here is all the hair. I got some long lengths in the water wave texture. So I have lengths going all the way to 26 inches I know you guys love the water wave texture it is also my favorite texture ever and this is the hair nice thick and full and fluffy as well as the closure it did not cut bleach so of course you know I'm going to bleach the knots so let me show you guys how to do that of course you're just going to need a bowl because you have to have something to put everything in definitely get some plastic utensils a spoon and a knife will make things easier scoop out a little bit from your bleaching powder put that into the bowl and then go in with your toning powder and also put that into the bowl this is going to help us keep the color nice and scalp like and then go ahead and add in your 30 volume developer and simply mix and then you can apply that to your lace closure let it sit and your closure will be bleached so here is an up close look of the closure as you can see the knots are more like a brassy color or more of like a yellow color versus the notch just being black. So I'm taking some water and I'm just going to prep my closure. I spray this down so it makes it easier for me to pull the knots out of the closure when I'm going to customize it. So I'm just parting the closure in the center part because I wanted that nice sleek center part look nice and down, nice and flat. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm using this olive oil wrap mousse set and you can use any brand but this is my favorite. This is just going to keep your part in place. So if you do a side part, middle part, whatever it may be, this keeps it in place. So I'm also taking some tweezers and you can use any type, but I like this style with like a slanted edge and I'm just starting from the front. So you don't want to over pluck your closure. You want it to be very much just like a natural opening. You don't want it to be too wide. And if it's too narrow, sometimes it looks like too skinny, too straight. And you can tell when you have a natural part, it's not going to be perfect. You know, it's going to have a little bit of some movement. So make sure it's not just straight, but this is how I plucked mine all the way back to the back of my closure. So I decided to go in. I didn't really want baby hairs, but I wanted the front of my closure to look natural. So I just opened it up a little bit and I tweezed that open area. That way when you fold the hair back, it's going to look like it gradually goes into your hairline. So it's not going to be bulky right at the front of your hair. It's just going to have like a gradual flow into your hairline. So this is what the wig looked like when I was done with her. And I started to prep her again. So I sprayed her with water. Water is curly hair's best friend. Wavy hair, water is always the best friend for any hair with any texture. So here's the wig and I'm prepping it again and spraying it. It definitely was getting a little bit poofy. As you guys can see, I have my Meek Mill braids and I installed an elastic band and I'm just plopping that wig onto my head and already the part looks so natural. I really did love it. So I sprayed the hair a little bit more just to get the curls and the waves defined and keep everything down. I love the way how the hair just easily just looks so perfect on my head. I love this style. I love water waves. So definitely check the description box down below from this hair from Hairs Market and let's get right into this video. Hi guys, I'm back with another video. So today's video is going to be another Chama Chats video. Chama Chats. Chama Chats. Hey, by the title, you guys can tell this is going to be a Chama Chat. This is going to be a Chama Chat story time. The title is I Dated a Colorist, which is a very, 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 very true story. But in this particular situation with this particular individual, I dated a colorist and did not realize that this person was a colorist until after the fact. It was at this time where I was kind of just figuring out a lot of what actually occurs in the black community for myself. And now that I look back because hindsight is 2020, I can definitely determine this individual as a colorist. So let's get right into this video. So maybe about two years ago, hmm, almost two and a half, two to two and a half years ago, I met this guy. He's been on my channel. If you've been watching me since then, you know exactly who I'm talking about. And him and I were, I guess you could say dating. We were never in a committed full relationship but you can definitely say that we were very much dating and very much intimate so this individual kind of just reached out to me on instagram he did the old slide in the dms trick and when he slid into my dms at the time i was breaking up with somebody i had just broken up and i kind of just saw him just so i could seek a little bit more comfort in somebody which is definitely something girls we should never do because we need time to heal and get over whomever we were just with so i definitely noticed some of the things now that i am a lot older a lot wiser on 
the topic of colorism and I just wanted to share some of the things that I experienced while I dated this guy. So I have some examples of things that he said, comments that he's made, things that he's done that basically describe how he is a colorist. So my first example is I do remember one time we were talking about like hair, like natural hair and we were just talking about hair in general and he was just like, oh well, all of my ex-girlfriends had long curly hair all the way down to their back and you don't have that. And it may not be something that you can definitely define as colorism because let's face it, you could be very, very dark and have long curly hair all the way down to your back. But in this case, I know just from being around this individual what exactly he was trying to say because he was trying to make the correlation that usually, which I guess we could say stereotypically, a stereotypical light-skinned girl usually has the longer, curlier, loose pattern hair down to her back or at least if it's not long, she has a texture of hair that is not as coarse because coarse hair, for whatever reason, is looked at in a derogatory way and is considered one of those negative aspects or unfavorable aspects of being a darker person, at least within the African American or black community. Like when you think about it, these are things that he said like literally two years ago and it still stuck with me. I still remember it to this day because it sticks with you when someone makes a comment about you putting you down or diminishing you for something that you don't have that somebody else would as if there's something wrong with me not having that type of hair texture. Something else that I did notice that every girl that he dated, that he posted on social media, that he was proud to date, called his girlfriend, claimed was a light skinned girl because we did talk about it. He did show me like what his ex-girlfriends looked like and that type of thing and it seems like when he was in his high school days before he got to college and he was in an environment where it was pretty much black, he would date girls that looked like me. But once he got to college and he became quote unquote that nigga and was like in a fraternity and all that stuff and everybody knew who he was and was on the higher point of the social ladder in college amongst the community that he definitely only dated girls with a fair complexion or definitely messed with girls of a fair complexion and that was something that I noticed and it didn't really hit me or make me feel any type of way because at the end of the day I'm a very confident person. We all have insecurities yes there's things that we all want to change about ourselves but I'm a very confident person for the most part but it was something that I kind of was like hmm okay. It's very weird to emphasize that all of these girls have something in common that I just don't have. The third thing I do remember him kind of like saying was his hair pattern was kind of like a loose curl. Um, For a man that is just fully African American he did have a hair texture that was like a lot looser than most guys because it wasn't as coarse and it definitely was defined. It was like a soft wet curl and he would brag about it like all the men in my family have this type of hair and we must have some form of Latin descent and look at this. I have this good hair and it's so wavy this that and the third and say what you want about me about wearing wigs and stuff honestly if I could find a 4C hair that was popping that I could make into a wig I would but if I go on a company's website there's nothing that says 4C curl you feel me that I can buy that's in bundles because then I would. And if there is, it's very rare or it's a lot more expensive than your usual straight body wave, water wave, and you know, those types of things. But anyway, so he would definitely brag about his hair texture, making it seem like this was one thing about him that he had above me and all the other guys that I've probably ever been with. Like, he would definitely always try to put himself up because of that damn hair texture in comparison to other men. And then also talk about, like, how I didn't have that hair texture and he did. And if it wasn't for copyright, and I know that the guy really don't like me, he'd probably find any reason to sue me and put me down. I would definitely put a picture in this video, but I won't. So use your imagination. Another thing that I did notice was that he always made it a point to point out the fact that I was African and that was his quote unquote African queen or just that I was African. And I felt like at first it was kind of like admirable because this is back when, you know, being really like African was just becoming a trend. Like literally over the past two years, embracing your Africanness has really been like a very, very big trend. Like it's always been, well, it hasn't always been cool. Like since the past, like, let's say five to six years it's been cool but like literally within the past two years it's been like a trend and he definitely made it a point to like talk about my Africanness and like always say something about Africans I didn't get it at first until he started like making like comments like like he always made like distasteful remarks about my culture but then he would like play it off as jokes so it would definitely be like oh I know you Africans don't have car insurance because you guys are used to walking everywhere barefoot you know he would say things like that and it'd be like ha 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 I'm just playing I'm just playing but it's like no like where'd you get this from like you had to 
have been serious because it's no reason for you to just say something like that and then not mean it, you know? So I just kind of like got annoyed at one point because it just became this thing where he kept saying stuff about Africans and I'm like trying to teach you about my culture but she would say something about Africans as if there's something wrong with being African when you derive from Africa. And he always thought that like most Africans are like dirt poor, don't have, you know, resources, don't have access to things that they have here in America and like are just the lower part of being a black person and like the low bottom tier of being black and that his, I don't know, I can't even say race because he's black, but that him being in a United States black American was better than him being an African and that Africans don't have his hair texture, the hair texture thing, that Africans don't have his hair texture which made him better than my culture, which made no sense. The last thing I do want to say that he definitely did emphasize was like having the weave in that was long and silky, like he made it a thing to be like, you know, make sure you have the long hair in, you know, you black girls can't grow long hair which is stupid and that make sure it's like the silky you know silkier textures like straight and like loose wave and stuff like that and just always would compliment me when my hair was done as a weave versus my hair being done in my natural style and I remember one time like I just took my hair out and it was early in the morning and I got into his car with my natural hair and like a bun and he was just like what happened to your hair? Like, what's going on with your hair? And granted, yes, yeah, early morning, my hair doesn't look the best. But if my hair was messed up and I had my weave in, he wouldn't say anything. But if it's messed up and it's my natural hair, he says something. Because, again, he thinks that having those looser textures and being of a fair skin are all synonymous with each other. So I wanted to talk about a little bit how this affected me. And I'm going to be very honest with you guys. It definitely did affect me. Sometimes it made me, like, second guess myself or kind of, like, reconsider, like, myself when I was around him and made me feel like I was going above and beyond to make sure that I looked a certain way for this guy even though there was absolutely nothing wrong with me like there's absolutely nothing to second guess about myself but it made me do that just out of habit you know sometimes it also made me feel uncomfortable in the quote-unquote relationship because I always had to think like if he's looking at this girl who has this complexion that's not like mine he would want to be with her versus him being with me it's not that I was jealous but I would just assume that if anything he would end up being with somebody or cheating on me or leaving with me or leaving me for somebody that had a lighter complexion which ended up actually being the truth he definitely did leave me for somebody that was a lighter complexion my friend who also knew who this person was definitely told me like girl he's a colorist like he's not gonna post you you're wasting your time you've been talking to him dating him and being intimate with him for this long period of time and he hasn't done anything because come to find out here's the real tea after him and I stopped talking literally a month later he was in a whole nother country with a whole different girl who just so happened to be what light skin and mix and he posted her was kissing her and made her his girlfriend meanwhile when we stopped talking after we've been talking for like a year definitely like not almost a year literally a month later he was in a relationship now granted I don't necessarily think it was all because of colorism like there's obviously a lot of different factors me and this individual went through a lot within that period of time but I found it funny that me being darker and this other girl who he, that he told me about that he played was darker but all the girls that were very much light skinned you definitely made them your girlfriend you took pictures with them because it made you look better for whatever reason is how a lot of these black men will think that it makes them look better to be with someone that is of a lighter complexion now I know someone's gonna comment like why do you care get over it you're so insecure this is why you're always talking about colorism this is exactly why you're just somebody hurt you and it's not necessarily that it's just something that I've noticed in that particular situation and it made me be very aware the overall tip and the overall like message that I have for you girls is definitely be aware of some of these things that a lot of these darker skinned black men will perpetuate and it's not all of them because we do have many men within the black community that will date girls of any complexion and aren't colorist and won't put you down for being darker but there are definitely some guys who are going to make these slick remarks and say different things in order to put you down or to make you feel less of yourself to uplift another person that just so happens to be lighter than you looking back because like I said hindsight is 2020 I definitely realized that's exactly Exactly how he was. You always have to believe these hints and these red flags because there are dark skinned men out there within the black community that swear they so fun, swear they're so sexy, swear they love themselves, but for whatever reason they will down talk anybody that shares the same complexion as them and talk about how their features are and how they act and stereotype them into one negative group. It's kind of sickening that those group of men that are colorists, that are dark skinned within the black community have a fetish for girls who are light skinned 
because I would hate to be a light-skinned girl and just have guys only talk to me because they fetishize over my skin color. Like, that is so weird to me. Like, why not just like somebody for who they are? And granted, he could have just not liked me, but dealt with me for such a long period of time. You had to have seen something. And it was just something that I noticed looking back now that I'm like, well, a little bit older and I kind of realized what was going on there. Even now, he's with a whole nother person and guess what? The person is still light. And you can have your preferences, don't get me wrong, but preference doesn't mean put down somebody because they don't look like or don't share whatever characteristics that you think are favorable and that are better than another one, okay? That's not preference. That's what you call prejudice and that's what you call colorism. You can have a preference for darker men, lighter girls, or so be it, but you don't have to put down somebody who doesn't fit those categories just to make yourself feel better and just to make somebody else feel better. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out this hair down below, okay? Okay? Hairs Market down below. I know you guys are going to be checking for this water wave hair. It's long. I will be selling this unit and my next wig launch for $300. So you guys make sure you stay tuned. Don't forget to comment down below what your thoughts on on this video. And don't forget to follow me on all of my social media networks. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.